We think that there's a chance for them to, uh, to be cutting rates again. Uh, for this time round, it seems that the weakness in the Korean war has caught the attention of uh, some Korean policymakers. Uh, they've been saying they prefer uh, market stabilization policy. So I think that's one factor that has caused them to help back, to hold back interest rate cuts uh, at this juncture. But moving into Q4, uh, what we know is that there could be some stimulus coming through from the ECB. Uh, the Fed could be uh, embarking on another rate cut uh, in Q4. So that could create very uh, benign conditions for the won uh, to stabilize, uh, opening out room for the BOK to be moving on another cut. Uh, for now, growth headwinds are very strong. Uh, for one thing, we have an escalation in the US-China trade tensions uh, that probably has a big impact on Korea because it's one of the most, uh, China's one of its biggest export destinations. Korean companies are major upstream suppliers to Chinese exporters. So uh, if Chinese export, exporters are facing uh, severe demand headwinds from the US side, then that's going to spill over into Korea as well. The other part of the story for Korea is that uh, the Chinese demand is seeing a structural slowdown. Uh, part of this is due to the fact that uh, debt burdens have gotten a bit excessive. There have been some financial curves that have come through. Uh, so that's one reason why uh, we see China as less of a support for Korea's economy uh, as compared to the past. Uh, so we are still somewhat bearish on Korea at this juncture. We think growth will slip towards the 2.1% mark uh, for this year. What about the Japan and South Korea trade dispute as well? Uh, clearly, we know that that's uh, negative uh, and affecting sentiment as well. Yeah, the media really likes to talk out this sort of trade frictions, but at the end of the day, I think Japan is uh, very cautious in terms of uh, how it has uh, enacted this uh, increased scrutiny or review of shipments from Japan to Korea. Uh, they have so far been allowing shipments to continue. Uh, so the initial fears that Japan could uh, stop or partially uh, reduce the shipments, I think those are proving to be a bit unfounded. So our bet is that Japan will be a responsible player. Uh, they will be keen uh, not to damage the mutually beneficial supply chain relations, uh, relationships between the two uh, countries that are built out over many years. Uh, of course, there are other avenues they'll be exploring to channel uh, dissatisfaction with historical uh, legacy issues, but we don't think trade will be the major uh, way for them to be uh, doing that. Hey everybody, it's Hadley Gamble from our new CNBC Middle East Bureau in Abu Dhabi. Thanks for stopping by. Now to watch more, you can try one of the videos that just popped up on your screen. And don't forget to subscribe.